They're calling berberine nature's ozempic. Is it really true? Can berberine really help you lose weight? And how does it stack up against ozempic? And if berberine works, how much should you take? Keep watching, I have a lot to say. So let's start with ozempic, which is technically called semeglutide. So basically ozempic is what they call a GLP-1 agonist. GLP-1 stands for glucagon peptide 1. And essentially it's fancy science talk for it raises insulin levels. As Ozempic raises insulin levels, this corresponds to a decrease in blood sugar levels. And as you've probably heard, Ozempic is also getting a very good reputation for helping people lose weight because of studies like this. Let's stick a pin in this study because I'm going to come back to it in a moment. Now, if we turn our attention to berberine, so berberine is also quite popular for lowering blood sugar levels as well as cholesterol levels as well. You're looking at one of the studies on berberine and diabetes where they're reporting that it promoted a 36% remission, their words not mine, in metabolic syndrome, which is also known as prediabetes. Now what's interesting here is that berberine also seems to work very similarly to ozempic. So in other words, one of the ways in which berberine works is by raising insulin levels through increasing GLP-1. Now that's interesting, but is there any evidence that berberine will help people lose weight? Well, yeah, there are some studies out there. So here is one of the review articles I found the effect of berberine on weight loss in order to prevent obesity as a systematic review. And I read the study and yeah, they do list a lot of investigations on berberine uh, and many of them are also in animals and most of them don't even mention weight loss. So I think that's a problem. But again, we're gonna come back to this in a moment. Now, if we look at this paper, the efficacy of berberine in patients with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, this is an investigation of berberine it did in fact show some weight loss. This is a 16 week long investigation that appeared to show that berberine supplementation led to almost a nine pound reduction in body weight, that's 4.3 kilograms. Berberine also promoted significant reductions in body mass index as well as waist circumference as well. We also have this paper detailing the effects of berberine on weight loss in people with type 2 diabetes. After three months, berberine helped people lose about five pounds or 2.3 kilograms. Here's the before and after numbers that are mentioned in this paper. And as you can see, body weight went down, body mass index decreased significantly. There was also significant reductions in waist to hip ratio and blood pressure was reduced as well. And that brings us to this paper where after three months of berberine use, people lost an average of a whopping 11 pounds or five kilograms. Now that sounds really impressive, but I will point out something that's weird about this study. And that is that the placebo group also lost weight as well, almost the same amount of weight as people who were taking berberine. And if you look at the middle column here where people were taking metformin, a popular diabetes medication, those individuals lost about nine and a half pounds or 4.3 kilograms. Okay, so let's take a closer look at the dosages of berberine that might promote weight loss. If we look at just the animal berberine research that I was able to locate, we can see that berberine weight loss dosages range from about 728 to 730 milligrams up to about 2100 milligrams per day, which is really nice if you're a rat, but what does that actually mean for us humans who are trying to lose weight? Let's take a look at the human studies of berberine as it pertains to weight loss, and then take a look at Ozempic and how they compare to each other. Now, if we look at the very first study I mentioned, on berberine and weight loss. This study lasted four months and we can see the people lost about nine and a half pounds. And to achieve this nine and a half pound weight loss, the people also had to diet and exercise and they used 500 milligrams of berberine three times per day. Sounds good. However, if you do the math, this comes to about 2.4 pounds per month. If we look at the next study on berberine and weight loss, we see that it lasted three months and those people lost about five pounds after those three months were up. Those people also had to cut their calories and increase their physical activity, and they used berberine at a dosage of 500 milligrams twice a day. This comes to about 1.7 pounds per month that was lost with berberine. And then we come to the last study here where people lost the most weight. It's also a three month long investigation. People lost about 11 pounds with berberine use. And to achieve this result, people took 500 milligrams three times a day. And this came to 3.7 pounds 
per month that was lost with berberine supplementation. So if these studies are to be believed and berberine is going to help people lose weight, expect that you might lose between two and four pounds per month depending on the dosage that you used. But what about Ozempic? How does Ozempic compare to berberine in terms of helping people lose weight? Well, if you look at people on the internet, they're going to say that Ozempic is far greater than berberine at helping people lose weight. And this is the study that I kept seeing popping up when I was investigating this. It's a once weekly Ozempic use in adults who were overweight or obese. So this is a really large investigation involved almost 2,000 people. They're taking 2.4 milligrams of Ozempic once per week by injection. And after 68 weeks, it was reported that these individuals lost about 15% of their body weight. And if you look closer, you find that that comes to about 34 pounds of weight loss with Ozempic. Sounds really impressive. Let's drill down a little further. So the investigation lasted 68 weeks. That's 15 months. They lost about an average of 34 pounds. If you do the math, this comes to about two pounds lost per month with Ozempic versus a placebo. So I can see why people on social media would be calling berberine nature's ozempic because if you look at it on a weight loss per month basis the weight loss with berberine is somewhat in line with the study on berberine showing about 1.7 pounds per month weight loss when people use berberine at a dosage of about 1,000 milligrams per day mind you I'm not making the argument that berberine is better than ozempic while well, you can make the argument that berberine doesn't need a prescription you don't have to inject it and it appears to have fewer side effects than Ozempic. However, as I see it, neither berberine or Ozempic leads to any dramatic weight loss in the short term. And let's remember that in both the berberine research studies I presented here and the Ozempic study, people had to cut their calories and increase their physical activity as well. So let's cut to the chase here. If berberine is really going to help people lose weight, you need to take it for several months before you're going to see a significant difference. And if the research studies I presented here are correct, you'll have to take berberine at a dosage of 500 milligrams between two and three times a day. Did berberine help you lose weight? Leave a comment below and let me know.